Good evening and thank you for joining us as we begin this Halloween weekend with a very real threat. Tonight, security is being beefed up at malls and shopping centers just outside here in the nation's capital. This is all stemming from what authorities say is a credible threat from ISIS to attack sometime in the next few days. The terror group has been working to incite attacks inside the U.S. and has been emboldened by the American withdrawal from Afghanistan. This new threat comes at a busy time. It's not just Halloween weekend, but Virginia is also about to elect a new governor. Well, there's a lot of new information to get to, and CBS's Catherine Harridge leads us off tonight from here in Washington. Good evening, Catherine. North tonight, law enforcement officials say they are acting at an abundance of caution, but it's also clear they are actively assessing this new intelligence. Police in Northern Virginia, just outside Washington, D.C., are on a heightened state of alert. A new law enforcement warning of a potential threat against malls and shopping centers. We have increased our police presence throughout the county to include major thoroughfares, transit hubs, shopping plazas, and shopping malls. Sources tell CBS News the threat originated with ISIS, the international terrorist group, and is the basis for the alert. Police say the increased law enforcement presence will be in place through the Halloween weekend. It's just our responsibility to have a greater presence, uh, to be more aware, and to ask the community to have their eyes and ears peeled uh, for suspicious activities. ISIS has been more active since the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in August. Officials say threats from the group and al-Qaeda are accelerating. Homeland Security's intelligence chief said this week the terror groups want individuals to act on their own, so-called lone wolf attacks overseas and at home. Right now we're seeing a dramatic increase or an increase uh, in online activity by media operations associated with different al-Qaeda elements uh, and the Islamic State. As investigators learn more about the threat, officials said the law enforcement presence could be extended through Tuesday's governor's race in Virginia. Nora? Catherine Herridge, thank you very much.